I was sent a box so large that I didn't even try to show it to you on camera. What's up guys, we're back with another epic sealed collection video, I guess you would say, something like that. I said I'm not buying more collections, but then sealed stuff doesn't really count. I'm, I'm at single cards, I'm still buying sealed stuff. Yeah, it's sealed stuff. So there was this massive box. I'm, I'm talking like, it was too big to set down in my room. It was like this big, you'll see it on the thumbnail. It was just way too inconvenient to actually show you guys on the video. And let me tell you, I did not buy that much stuff. This box was way too big for the stuff that I actually got. It did not warrant this large of a box. That's why I'm not showing it to you, but I will show you what we did get inside, which is some really fun sealed product that we're going to be opening on the video well not this video but we're going to be opening in other videos and some of it in this video before that i have a giveaway i'll be giving away these three cards this is an original print by the way we're gonna to have to clarify now because there's even more reprints this is an original 2002 or 2003 print and then uh graceful charity confiscation also original as well it says magic ruler pretty obvious on that one like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know what you think of this sealed collection and what do you want to see open the most all right our first item that we purchased was a return of the duelist special edition inside we have pulled a couple of these ghost rares out of these um, not the special edition specifically but the unlimited packs pretty cool little uh little item it's pretty old at this point it's like 2012 i think maybe 13 i don't know it's pretty old i think it won't stand up it's a little beat up then we have a deluxe edition you don't see these very often they're kind of like special editions in that they did them for a while and then canceled them i mean they, they did these a lot longer but these are kind of a forgotten type of product that they haven't done in many years but it's pretty cool because you get like multiple different packs let's see if we can find what we get okay this picture seems to show us nine booster packs of legacy of the valiant that's pretty cool one of two preview cards from the upcoming primal origin booster upcoming primal origin that is an old set and it's not upcoming anymore two foil versions of common and or rare cards from legacy of the valiant one pack of promo sleeves one beginner beginner's guide it's kind of weird they used to like up commons into different rarities and like have them in these kind of products pretty weird but also kind of cool like if it was like a decent card this thing's kind of open so we're definitely going to be opening that soon should be pretty fun let me know in the comments if you have never heard of a deluxe edition i bet some of you haven't i actually did a video with a versus battle is two different deluxe editions but we haven't really opened a lot on the channel so if you've never heard of them let me know in the comments i want to see if you guys ha like have missed that product completely because it took me a long time to actually notice it as well so i'd be interested to see then we got one we have opened on the channel many times dark legend okay maybe not many but a few times dark legend blister pack with the gores inside that's pretty nice for those edison decks then we got a couple dark legends packs which has some pretty cool old school stuff basically our version of retro pack one which is pretty exciting except for they didn't give a secret rare so that kind of hurts a little bit because that's kind of the main value of the retro pack stuff next we have some pretty interesting items that I i'm not sure why i bought these okay i know why i bought these but it's kind of a weird reason we have some sort of cube i'm not sure what this was packaged or where this was packaged by but there's micro figures in there there is a pokemon beldum reverse card there is colossal battle dinosaur king stuff 10 packs plus five cards inside every cube entertainment value cube so this is just like random different things it's not like Yu Gi Oh, pokemon any of that just completely random stuff a bunch of different stuff here's why i bought it i'll show you guys if i can find it oh wait look wacky packages that's not why we don't get any mountain dew i don't think check this out and umbreon are these prime cards i'm not sure what they're called exactly but these are very cool looking cards i like pokemon a little bit you know i i have a pokemon channel i don't necessarily do the cards a ton but i really like the look of these specific cards that's why i got this cube so i think it's going to be really fun to open i think we're going to open that in this video because i want to get that card out and see what else is in there because it looks completely random which is i mean you guys know i love random but we didn't just get one we also got one with an espion in there as well so we have an espion and an umbreon uh whatever this is called but these are older because they got the silver sparkly border then more of these random different things we got a gloom reverse foil We've got a Power Rangers Mighty Morphin the movie. Mighty Morphin? Or is it Morbin? I don't know. That's a little bit old. Okay. And here's a pretty cool set of packs. We have 15 first edition Force of the Breaker booster packs. These are 25% off now, $2.99. I wish they were that price. Now they are not. I definitely paid more than that, but there are 15 of these. And look, they're in bad condition, just like those recent blisters we bought have to be open in this condition, right? I mean, they have to be. And I've never pulled that Doomfire Dragon, Ryza Ultimate Rare. There's a lot of great secret rares in here we could pull as well. I'm really excited to open those up. And speaking of epic packs and 15 of them, we have 15 
Crossroads of Chaos, these are not first edition, which would be insane. They don't actually have first edition blisters for this set, but they were also $399, 25% off, now $299, which is pretty amazing. We have never pulled the Ghost Rare Black Rose Dragon. I don't think we've pulled the Ulti. Maybe we have pulled the Ulti. Maybe that'll Stardust. I can't remember, but we've definitely never pulled the Ghost Rare, so that is what we're going to be trying to do out of these 15 packs. If we actually pull one, it'd be one of our best pulls of all time, probably, out of only 15 packs. Oh. So I'm excited for that opening. It's going to be awesome. So keep an eye out for that. And finally, our last item that we bought out of that giant box. See, look, it's it's a decent amount of stuff, but it's not that much for how big the box was. We have War of the Giants Battle Pack 2. So I have 22 of these. I'm not going to show you all these because I'm running out of room. But these would be cool to do like a opening slash duel afterwards. I think that'd be really fun because War of the Giants Battle Pack, they were made just to open up and then like duel with them. So I think it'd be perfect to actually do that in a video with someone else at some point. So maybe when someone, you know, is near me or I can visit someone else, we'll do like an opening of these and then we'll battle with them. I think that'd be pretty sick. Did I just call them dueling battle? It's because of battle, battle pack. You know, just thinking battle, okay? Give, cut me some slack, man. All right, guys, it is time to break into these wacky cubes, I would say, because the wacky packages. I want to see what's in here. I'm pretty excited. I really just want these Pokemon cards. I think they look really sweet. Uh, so let's just open this up. I'm excited to do this because I really have no idea what to expect. I mean, it shows you a lot of it on the outside, but is there going to be more inside? Like, what are these? Are there like different packages of stuff? We're going to find out. Let's go. Micro figures. Probably shouldn't have opened this, you know, with that inside, but let's do it anyway. That's what we do on this channel. All right, first of all, let's do this one at a time. So there's a Marvel trading cards back there. We've got micro figures. We're gonna figure out what these are, 12 to collect. Come on, here we go. Let's open this up. This is turning into like, it's it's sort of a Yu-Gi-Oh opening, some of it. Some of it's not. We're, we're opening some random things. We're gonna open it up, see if we can get some cool stuff. Uh, I might need some scissors for this. First item today, everyone got a moving buddy. What will it be inside? We have, oh, it's a little Lego guy. And there's only one of them. I thought there was multiple. Okay. All right. We have like a, it's not Lego, but it basically is. This is something that I would have loved back in the day. This is pretty sick. So it's like a little mystery package for the guys. Okay. There's 12 different ones. I guess you could see them on here. So micro figures. If you guys remember any of these, like, let me know. Like if this is something you're like, oh yeah, I remember micro figures. Let me know in the comments. Cause I do not remember them. Oh wow. We could have gotten a knight. Okay, we got a ninja. That's pretty cool, but knights would have been pretty sick. That's what I would have picked. Okay, let's set our guy back there. Let's see what else we got. We have Marvel trading cards, Thor. Capture the power of Thor. Wait, is this from like 2011 or something? Like when, when Thor, no, when did first Thor come out? Was it before that? I don't know. Let's open these up. Thor trading cards. We have a Thor hammer. Okay, that's just a picture from the movie. Okay, not that crazy. We got, okay, this is, wait, is this the first one? I can't remember. Uh, this movie was not very good. I think this was the first one, right? Yeah, because he's in that little little thing. We got final issue, Thor disassembled. Okay, cool. We've got a fan draw, Thor. All right. We've got a pic. It's just, okay, when it's just pictures of the movie, it's not that cool, let's be honest. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, there's still a bunch of packs in here. We got Captain America. Are we going to open all these? This is actually a lot. This is a little, okay, let's just go through. Let's pick a few that we want to open. I don't want to open too many of these things. We have Captain America trading cards. We've got Transformers. This is the kind of stuff that I have all the Star Wars packs I'm going to open later. I might do this on Twitch at some point. You can go follow me at uh, Ruxin34 on Twitch as well. We've got the Troopers. We've got X-Files cards. That's so cool. I'm actually excited to open these, but I'm going to save these for when we do that, probably on stream at some point. We have wacky packages. We have... What is this? Eraser, Easter cards, not eraser, what am I talking about? Easter cards, we gotta save that for the holiday season, right? Here's our Pokemon card, I think right here, so we gotta be careful. Here's the here's the code card, so I bet this doesn't work, but it might, it's pretty old. We have a Espeon, actually pretty nice condition, surprisingly. I guess it's been pressed up against there because of all the, other, all the other things in the cube that it like didn't move around at all. That actually seems to be in nice condition. I wasn't expecting that. Espeon, that is super cool. This is why I opened the the, uh, the cube. It looks really awesome. Okay, so if, yeah, old old code card. Probably one of the oldest ones out there. So you guys can use that. Then we have a, oh, a Blossom. Okay, so that was one that I didn't know was in there. We got another card. We have Power Rangers. We're definitely opening that at some point. Then we have a Oddish, 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 and a Gloom. And then our final item is the Garbage Pale Kids. Four magnet cards with gummy candy. Oh my gosh. So that is pretty insane. All right, we're going to open up the other cube because I don't want to spend too much time opening completely random things that are not Yu-Gi-Oh! But let's do it. Hopefully this Umbreon is in similar condition to the Espeon because that would actually be a huge win, I think. I don't know what the value is on those cards, actually. I just think they look nice. So the editor will have them popping up. 
um, then you guys, you know, you guys will know before I do. Well, technically I'll know because I'll probably look it up after this. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's see. We got potentially a really nice Pokemon card. We have micro figures again. Honestly, we're going to open this up and see if we can get one of those knights. I'm going to do it real quick. All right, come on. Bless us with one of the knights. Here we go. Do we have the protagonist powers? No, we have another, what appears to be the same guy. <laughs> same guy. Okay. We have two of the same guy. They're guarding us. Let's see if it's all the same cards. We have Thor. We have, no, it's not. We have Tomb Raider. That's pretty crazy. That is seriously old school. You guys remember how bad the graphics were on this? Oh, wait, there's another one. What is this? This is Anastasia trading cards. Oh my goodness. How, this is insane. There was trading cards for everything back in the day. We have Superman Man of Steel. That's actually dope. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to look through some of these at some point for sure. We then have wacky packages. That's pretty cool with the tops. We got Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin again. Pokemon. We have Metagross, Matang. Wait, do we get Belt? We got the whole line. Beldum, Metagross, Matang. Wait, that's the wrong order, but that's pretty cool. Then we have the Garbage Pail Kids again, which is pretty sick. I mean literally sick a little disgusting then <laughs> what else do we have we have another old code card that's pretty cool so you guys can redeem that if it's even possible then our umbreon appears to be pretty nice as well two of the best pokemon umbreon and espeon you can't even argue that it's pretty nice and then our final thing is the colossal team battle so what is this dinosaur king i i feel like I've, i saw that at some point a long time ago but maybe not i can't really remember they all look the same all right so i might have to like check these out if these are actually worth something maybe we'll send them in to get graded i don't know they look pretty cool but if they're not i'll just throw them in a binder because i think they look nice we're gonna open a couple Yu-Gi-Oh packs now let's open up this return of the duel special edition i want to see if we can get a ghost rare well, this is a weird opening definitely a weird video i hope you guys have enjoyed it like a a little bit of variety seen a little bit of mail action but also getting some opening opening some little lego guys that aren't technically lego and uh some cool pokemon cards as well um can oh nice number 30 if there's some cool pokemon sets that come out i'm considering doing some like Yu-Gi-Oh versus pokemon stuff potentially but i don't know if we'll do it or not let me know in the comments if you want to see it uh, I would like to mix in Yu-Gi-Oh with it as well. I'm going to do three because we don't want to ruin this. Potentially, we have a Gear Gear Accelerator, Lucky Punch, Strength of Prophecy, Generation Force, Heroic Retribution Sword, Madolce Butterusk, Madolce Chauvalier, and a Madolce Mayapple. So this is where the Madolces, I think, originally like were released. A pretty crazy name we got here. It's pretty nuts. I'm struggling to speak, but that's how you got to do it. You just gotta, just gotta keep going. You know, even when you can't speak, you just gotta keep. Okay, that's not good advice. If you can't speak, don't, don't keep speaking. All right, Heroic Challenger. Unless, of course, you're making a video, then you have to. We have a uh, Charioteer of Prophecy. We've got was that Prophecy? Yeah, Heroic Challenger Warhammer. Strength of Prophecy. A lot of prophecy going on here. Light Ray Medor. We've got the Emeruka. I think this is a Duel Links like guy that's like everywhere. They use this this monster's artwork. And then an Atlantean Attack Squad, another one for the Deep Sea XCs. Deep Sea, I should say Water XCs deck in Duel Links. That was pretty strong for a while. Final pack we got here. What will we get? One, two, three. Will it be a ghost? So far, no foils. We have Chronomaly Golden Jet. We have a Heroic Challenger Sword Shield. We have an XC Soul. Chronomaly, Mayan Machine, Overlay Rain, Block Golem, Mahunder, and Chariots Here of Prophecy. That was a bust. There was nothing in there, unfortunately. Nothing guaranteed back in these Return of the Duel days. Okay, I decided we're going to open up this Dark Legends because there's only two packs in here. I can't make a whole video with this anyway. We might as well just throw it in here. Let's open the Dark Legends pack. Let's get the Gores out without damaging it. These are also the hardest ones to open because every time you open it, it doesn't actually get through to where the packs and cards are. So you got to like start punching holes and that's really dangerous. Okay, I think we got the Gores out without being too bent. They're always a little... Oh, I say that and there's a giant, giant thing there. there there's usually a pretty big bend on these. There's actually not there. There's just that. But if you're using this in like Edison in your deck, you won't really be able to tell. It'll be fine. Okay, two packs of dark legends let's see what we can pull there's some pretty nice cards in here that are like super rares and rares that are like worth a little bit just because the versions of these are pretty rare there's also uh i don't think i can do a pack trick here so we're just gonna have to open this up we have a gravekeeper servant black pendulum back pendant what am i saying mystic tomato this is a struggle i haven't recorded in a few days because i got so far ahead thinking like my editor is doing this so i've been a, it's been a little bit slow i've done a stream but it's okay you can fumble all over the place in the stream who cares upstart goblin that's nice we got a rising air current 
Song of the... Th oh, look at the name. Something going on with the name. Weird. That is a rare, unfortunately. That means we probably didn't get anything. I think that means it's all commons. Polymerization. Thunder Dragon. It's worth a few bucks. Baby Dragon and Armed Ninja. Okay, it was five from the back there to get to the rare. But if it was after the rare normally... Wait. No, it's always this... There's no extra rare in foil, right? I'm just going to do four from the back just to be safe. We don't want to ruin it because we only have, what, one more pack? Two, three, four. Wait, what is in here? Oh, it's got one of these. Got to pull that out. One, two, three, four. Let's go. We have a Hane Hane, Hane Hane, whatever you want to call it. Gazelle, the king of mythical beasts. Cannon soldier. Nice. Summon skull from Yami Yuki. Sonic bird. Black illusion ritual. Lord of the D. Luminous spark. A UFO turtle. Come on. Is it a couple away? I think. No! What? Sangha again? A double Sangha? You can't make that up, man. Gaia and Karibo, the same rare. Aw, oh, some dud packs, man. So we're now 0 for 5. It makes me want to open another pack, but I probably shouldn't. Okay, one more pack. I will open one Crossroads of Chaos. No matter what happens, this is the last pack. You guys are lucky that I want you guys to be happy, okay? All right, let's open this thing up. I just realized my background's been tilted over the whole time. You probably can't actually tell. Yeah, you can't tell, really. Okay. Oh, I dropped the pack. If this has a ghost rare in it, I'm going to be happy and sad because because then it's like it's at the end of the video, which is actually kind of a good thing, I guess. But no, that would be worse. I wouldn't be sad at all. <laughs> let's be honest. If I get a ghost rare, I'm going to be happy. Okay. Black Rose Dragon. That's what we're looking for. That's really all. I mean, I guess Plague Spreader would be pretty sick as well. Seed of Deception. Let's go. Goblin Recon Squad. Bamboo Scrap. Morphtronic Clocking. Morphtronic Engine. Gadget Driver. Come on, give us something good. Confusion Chaff. It could be next if it's like three. I'm not sure. Storm Caller. Is it after or before? I really don't know. I guess we won't find out. 0 for 6. That's a rough opening, but don't worry. We have a lot of packs that we will be opening in the future. Those 14 other Crossroads of Chaos, the 15 Force of the Breaker. It's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. You guys want to see me open these random weird packs? That's probably going to be over on Twitch. We also have some Star Wars packs we're going to open at some point. We've been playing Pokemon. We're going to be doing Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm going to try and do some GOAT tournaments over there once I figure out how to actually set up a tournament, get judges and all that stuff because I've never done it before. But that's kind of the goal with Twitch. Go check it out. Go get a follow. Links in the description. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe the channel. Shout out to Tone Info Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jance, Frankie Martinez, Another Tie Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Echo, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.